Hello my amazing people, Hamza here and welcome back to the channel. Now in this video I want to show you how you can use the new cool feature that came in premium add-ons 4.0 update which is the cross domain copy paste. What makes this feature really outstanding is that first of all it is free, it is in their free version unlike other third party providers giving it to you in the pro version and allows you to cross domain copy content from one website to another including their stylings and media. But before we jump into the tutorial, if you're new to the WordPress and getting started in your WordPress journey, I have a toolkit for you free for download that I think can bring you more value as you're getting started on your WordPress web design journey. Please check out the link to download your free copy in the description box below. Now let's jump straight into the video and get started. So now let me show you how you can take advantage of this feature from premium add-ons for Elementor. So these are my two websites where I want to cross domain copy and paste and all of them they are live sites. I'm going to talk a bit later on local sites. So in this case we only have live sites. What you have to do is that you have to make sure that you have premium add-ons for Elementor, the free version installed on both sites and make sure that you have the cross domain copy feature enabled. Coming back here to the dashboard, I go to plugins so under the plugins area you realize i have premium add-ons for elementor you can add premium add-ons for elementor by simply saying add a new plugin and search for premium add-ons for elementor shows up over here it has currently over 400,000 active installs once it is installed and activated it will show up down below here click over there and now you'll come straight to the features option which is up here and make sure that the cross domain copy paste is activated by activated it should be in green save changes once the changes are saved make sure that you do the same for your destination website have premium add-ons installed and activated and also make sure that you activate the cross domain copy paste then you'll have to open up both your pages where you want to cross domain copy paste your content so i'll open up my pages so i have both pages opened up in Elementor. So I'm going to populate this page with some content. First of all, get some content from maybe Elementor templates. Okay, maybe I can get this section. It has some content, text, and also media because we also want to experiment how the media is handled when we are cross domain copying and pasting. I can make changes to the color of this section by coming over here to style. I'll just grab something like that i'll add another section at the top here in this case i'm going to get a premium add-on section cool now i have these two sections they all have media they have very good stylings and all that stuff now i want to assume that we created these sections and we want to cross domain copy them from this website and we take them to our other website on a different domain so what we have to do is simply come to that section, right click, and you'll have now these options down below here. PA copy section, PA paste section, PA copy all content, and PA paste all content. So in this case, I'm going to go with PA copy section because I want to only copy that section. So I'll copy the section, come over here, add a new section, and I'll simply right click and now I have the option to say PA paste section just like this so I'll paste the section and boom there I am I have my first section copied from a different domain to a new domain and I have all the media here and all the stylings have been imported now you have to note that in case you have global styles on your website this section will inherit the destination site global styling so you have to note that also i can come over here and copy the other section so right click on that section copy section come here to my destination site i'll just come up here and then i'll say paste section and boom here i am my media is here and also the styling that i applied to that section Okay, cool. So in case I want to copy the whole page content from this website, let me just add a new section here. I'll add one of the blocks, new blocks. So let me see. I want to add this block. I'm going to come here and I'll delete all these other sections I had imported. So now we have a blank page. 
now i want to copy all the content on my other website in this case so i'm going to say right click and say copy all content come to my destination website i'm going to simply right click on the section and i say paste all content and boom here we are we have our content imported and i realized the very last section that we added to our first site which is supposed to be in the middle has been positioned as last here so we can easily grab the navigator and come to that section and we can move it to where we want it to be i'll delete other sections that i don't want or i don't need and here we are we have our content copied from our originating site to our destination site with all the stylings as they are and the media files now i want you to note that in case you are cross-domain copying and pasting from one website that is SSL secured to one that is not SSL secured, even when they are all live sites, you face some difficulties where some media will drop out, where some headings will drop out, and where some widgets will also not show up. The same also happens, I mean, falling into errors where some things are not showing up, especially the media and stylings. If you are copy-pasting within two local sites, for example this is a local site and this is a local site so i'm going to copy section and i'm going to paste this section on another local site paste section first of all i have lost the stylings and secondly also the media doesn't show up that is even when i'm copying from a local site to another local site so just make sure that you are working on live sites and both live sites actually have an SSL. In case you are copying a section from local site to live site, you won't have the media imported into that section, just like you see over here. Also, you are unable to cross domain copy in a different browser. In this case, I'm using Chrome. So in case I want to cross domain copy from Chrome to another website that is maybe opened up in Mozilla or Safari, that is not possible. So both sites should be open in the same browser. And maybe you have a question like, in case I have a third-party add-on that is installed on one website, or you are using a widget from another third-party provider, in this case, let me say Elements Kit or Essential Add-ons or something, just make sure that you have that third-party provider plugin installed and activated on this other website, and that specific widget should also be active. So that when you copy that section that has that special widget from that third-party provider, it will also be copied and pasted into the destination website yes and also you are in position to make edits on any of these changes on a destination website for example this is where i copy this section from and now i have that same section over here and i have all the possibility to make changes on the font stylings on the images or the media or even the text just like you see over right here that's how you can cross domain copy using the premium add-ons for elementor free cross domain copy feature Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope that now you have an idea of how the premium add-ons for Elementor cross-domain copy feature works like and how you can actually use it in your website building project. In case you have any questions, comments, let me know down in the comment box below. If you are new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe because that actually helps me out. And if you like this video, please give it a like. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good time and see you in the next video. Goodbye.